guys, it's me JSHDIY and welcome back to the Happy Side of YouTube. Today I went to Target and I bought a whole bunch of types of dish soap and we are going to put them all to the test and see the best way to make dish soap Today's slime. notification squad shout outs today go to Roa, Michaela Green, and Kylie Davis. So if you would like a notification squad shout out in my next video, all you have to do is be subscribed and turn on the notification bell. The type of dish soap slime I'm going to be trying to make is Dawn Vaseline dish soap slime. So for this, all you're going to be needing is a container, some Vaseline, and some dish soap. Starting off, you just want to add a good spoonful of your Vaseline into your bowl. I would recommend using a bowl you can throw away that's plastic because it really sticks inside of glass bowls and it's really hard to clean out. Then I went in and added a bunch of the Dawn dish soap. Dish soap. It's hard for me to say that. I don't know why I can't say that. But whenever I say dish soap, it sounds like I'm saying dish soap. But anyways, what you need to do after you have added in your soap is mix the Vaseline in. It's a little bit hard to mix it, but just keep mixing it and it should mix in. It made little chunks and I could see it kind of thickening up, but I put it in the freezer for 30 minutes so it would thicken up even more. And once I took it out, it kind of had this like toothpaste texture, but it was too sticky to touch as slime so this recipe was also a fail this next recipe isn't like an official recipe that i saw in a video but i thought it might work because the other day i was making some frosting and i added water and milk and butter into powdered sugar and it kind of made the slime consistency so i thought we could do the same thing and replicate it but use dish soap instead of using butter and milk but we will see what happens i'm actually kind of excited to test this just because it's a fun little experiment right here i'm just going to use this green method dish soap and i'm just going to add in a little bit at a time so it doesn't get too sticky at this point, I was a little bit worried because I kind of felt like I added in too much dish soap, but I decided to mix it up anyways. I added in another spoon of the powdered sugar because I thought it would make it less sticky, but when I mixed it up, it had this weird texture, basically where it was super stretchy, but too sticky. Next no glue slime recipe is super weird, so I was super excited to test it out. Basically, we're going to be mixing some jam into dish soap, and it's supposed to make slime, but we will see what happens. Apparently, the science behind this recipe is that the pectin inside of the jam is supposed to thicken up the dish soap, and it's supposed to turn it into this nice, non-sticky, touchable slime. And so I added the jam into the dish soap, and I mixed it up, and right away, I could definitely feel the dish soap kind of thickening up. but. I kept mixing it and the texture really wasn't changing. It kind of stayed at that same dish soap texture. So this recipe was sadly a fail. Next type of slime we're gonna be trying to make is crystal clear dish soap slime. So for this, we're going to be needing a dish soap of your choice as well as some cream of tartar. So what you want to do is add some dish soap into a container and then just add a bunch of cream of tartar on to the dish soap. Then all you have to do to turn it into slime is mix it up. I didn't have a spoon by me, so I decided to just put the lid on the container and then just shake it up to mix it, which was actually kind of fun. It's not going to make slime instantly, but if you let the cream of tartar soak into the dish soap overnight, it should start forming a good slime. It'll really actually speed up the process if you just put it in the refrigerator to chill. So that is what I'm going to also be doing, but you can also just let it sit in the open and that will work too here is what the slime turned out like when i touched it i didn't really think it was going to work but i kind of felt it was like a slime it was super cold because again i had it chill in the refrigerator but it was definitely a slime and i would say this recipe worked Last week, I went live on YouTube and I asked you guys to send recipes in the comment section so that I could test in this video. So basically, I got a comment from a subscriber named Alicia Gonzalez 54 and she said she guaranteed I could make slime out of dish soap, sugar, and sunscreen. So I was super intrigued and we are going to be testing it right now. Once you have a good amount of dish soap in your container, all you have to do is add in a spoonful of sugar. So I added in the spoonful of sugar, like Alicia said to do, and I mixed it up. And right away, it did have a weird consistency where the soap started to kind of like melt, except for thicken at the same time. But it wasn't really turning into slime. So what I decided to do is add in a little bit of salt to activate it. This wasn't a part of the recipe, but I thought it would be helpful. And once I started mixing the salt in, it definitely started forming as a slime. Last better. step that Alicia provided us with was adding in sunscreen and this confused me because i looked at the ingredients and there was nothing that would really thicken the dish so i came to the conclusion it might have been something for the scent or 
I guess like clickbait. I don't even know how to explain it. But I added it anyways, and it really didn't do anything. So I had to add in a little bit more salt. One observation I made, and this could have totally been just because of the excessive amount of salt I was adding. But nonetheless, the slime got really stringy after I had added in salt. After adding in the sunscreen. Count how many times I said sunscreen. I'm sorry. But it... I don't even know how to explain it. It was not like a normal dish soap slime. The next recipe... We are going to be trying to make dish soap clear slime. And this one I have good hopes for because I have tested similar recipes and they've worked. So what you're going to be needing to make the base of the slime is just some Dawn dish soap and also some salt. So once you've added in your salt, you just want to mix it up and it should start thickening the dish soap a little bit. Adding pinches of salt into your dish soap until it starts forming into a nice non-sticky slime. Now it is going to be sticky, but we are going to let this dry out for a couple of days so we can see if it makes a super nice clear slime. Once your slime has started to form and is less sticky, you just want to put it into an airtight container and let it clear up as well as dry out so that it can thicken up a little bit. I was so surprised because it only took one night to clear up, and usually slimes take, can take up to a week to clear up. I think it was because it was made out of dish soap, so it was a thinner texture, but here's how it looked after I let it clear up. It formed into a pretty good slime, although it left a lot of soapy residue on your hands, which was a little bit annoying, but it's definitely your best bet if you want to make a nice clear slime without glue. next recipe we're going to be testing is hand sanitizer dish soap slime. If you would like to test and make this with me, all you're going to be needing is some dish soap as well as some hand sanitizer. All the recipe says to do is empty a dish soap container into a bowl and then add in a few squirts of hand sanitizer. Once you have added the hand sanitizer into the dish soap, all you have to do is give it a nice thorough mix. I started mixing it and I was realizing that the hand sanitizer was actually melting the dish soap into a thin water-like consistency. So this recipe really didn't work for me, but you can tell me in the comments how I can improve it for next time. The next recipe we're going to be attempting to make is dish soap egg slime. I saw this recipe on a couple other slime channels, so I was really excited to get to test it myself. All they showed in the videos was them putting a little bit of dish soap into a container and then adding an egg white into the dish soap and mixing it up and then putting it in the refrigerator. So I just did the same thing and followed as well as I could. I'd say dish soap is already pretty jiggly, but once I added the egg white into the dish soap, it got super, super It definitely jiggly. took a while to mix the egg white into the dish soap just because the egg white kind of has to break and mix into the soap. But once I mixed it for a long time, it kind of started turning into this slime consistency. But once you have made and mixed it up, you're just supposed to put it in the refrigerator for an hour. It was really late at night, so I only was able to leave the egg slime in the refrigerator for about 35 minutes. But here's how it turned out. As you guys can see, it kind of started making this super thick slime, which was so surprising to me. I bet you if I would have left it in for longer, it would have made a more solid slime. But this recipe was super cool and actually worked really well. slime we're going to be testing today is crystal clear dish soap jelly slime. I'm going to be testing two methods of making this. This is a pretty popular dish soap clear slime recipe, so I wanted to see which one works best. The right container, I'm going to be adding in the up and up dish soap, and in the left one, I'm going to be adding in the Trader Joe's dish soap. Going to be dyeing the right one with some gel purple food coloring and the left with some teal frosting dye by the way if you guys do use cake decorating food coloring you want to make sure you make it darker than you want the actual shade to end up because it really lightens up and it's super weird even if you start off with a dark blue it ends up as a nice teal and when you make a pink one it ends up with a tan so i wouldn't recommend using the pink food coloring for the cake decorating ones to activate this slime you're going to be needing some cream tartar and also a little bit of salt I tried my best to make the amount of activator in each one of them about the same, but there was a little less cream of tartar in the blue one, so we will see what happens with that. After 
three weeks, this is what these slimes turned out like. I know it was a really long time to let them sit, but I went on vacation for a little bit. So I guess they probably would have been a little bit less sticky if I would have let them sit less because they did, I guess, kind of melt a little bit. Some of the dish soap also evaporated a little bit because I let them sit for a super long time, but they weren't super sticky and they actually ended up making a pretty good slime. To my surprise, the teal one actually was less sticky than the purple one, which was really weird because I added in less cream of tartar in the teal one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a great time hanging out with you guys. And if you did too, you should definitely subscribe as well as turn on the notification bell and follow me on Instagram if you guys would like to learn a little bit more about me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!